Peter Nekas on my YouTube channel on Chameleons. Let us pay today a visit to a very interesting area, to southern Turkey, just east of Kemer. Normally we find lots of chameleons here, but today well, we will not see any. It is winter time, it is February, and they hibernate. However, let us see what the area is looking like and let us have an idea how and where they live. Welcome to a wonderful place on the Anatolian beach uh, in the area which is called Liguria in Chirali, uh, at a spot where chameleons occur naturally until today. This is their biotope, a wonderful beach close to the rocks full of limestone and vegetation that uh, uh, provides them uh, shelter and of course also shade and shelter from, from the uh, windy weather here. Just enjoy the wonderful landscape. This is where the chameleons live and thrive. This is an area where they lay their eggs and where they reproduce. Uh, you can see that the ground is sandy and if you look around, you can see that here on the opposite side, there is a hill. Look, there is a hill which is made of sand, but the sand is stabilized by the roots of the plants and uh, it builds a small biotope which is full of thorny twigs which uh, provide shelter specifically for the small chameleons but for the big ones as well they don't mind crawling through that biotope uh, without touching this uh, spiny and spiky vegetation with their bodies and this area, of course, also full of shade, provides the shelter for the chameleons at the daytime and <clears throat> provides enough shade for the eggs. Once they are laid, uh, they can stay moist thanks to this dense vegetation until the moment when they hatch. You can see this beach is full of these coniferous trees. They are actually pines. Chameleons do accept pines if they have no other choice, but they do not like them. The reason is very simple. The uh, bark can get damaged and then the raisin, which is, uh, or the, the sap, which is uh, covering the wounds, can uh, damage their very gentle feet and can stick to the, the skin and uh, make troubles with their shed, then the unshed skin can uh, get inflamed by some uh, bacteria and fungi. and They don't like it, so this is not their first choice. If they have no other choice, of course, we can find them in biotope, biotope like that as well. But this uh, biotope right here, the uh, mafia, the machia, which is typical for the Mediterranean Sea coast, uh, full of thorny bushes. Look how they are spiky. This is a dead part of the tree, but look at the dense vegetation here. Okay, this is exactly what they like. This is exactly where they live. This is exactly where they find shelter, which uh, uh, is provided against all the natural problems like rain, like wind, like too much sun and so on. And this is what they prefer to the uh, ever-present coniferous trees. Just a few hundred meters uh, behind the place which is full of chameleons in the summertime, there is a place called Olympia. Not the Olympia in Greece, Peloponnese, where Olympic Games are born, and not the Mount Olympus in Greece, where all the Greek gods are sitting and watching us. It is an ancient place where gas deposits come near to the surface and burn since ancient times. 
this symbolic and quite mystical place is quite interesting since antique times people come to this place and this is Peter Natchez watch and my YouTube channel on chameleons stay tuned